Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin. That's Katie. This is my little Riverhawk B60. We're at Home Assassin. Uh, we're gonna drop off the boat. Um, I'm actually gonna go buy a new trailer today. And But first, and most importantly, we're gonna go get some food. So luckily there's no wait at the Florida Cracker Kitchen. And the best thing for breakfast, for me, is the hen house skillet. It's hands down the best thing here. So here's the hen house, eggs, peppers, onions, potatoes, biscuit, and then Katie went with the uh, half order of biscuits and gravy. So Katie and I are back at the river house. We went to Crystal River Marine and picked up a brand new Continental trailer. What's nice about this trailer is already set up for like a GNU, so it has two little platforms right here. On my other trailer, there's nothing. So the whole front of the boat is just hanging off the front of the trailer. So I got two nice bunks right here. I don't know if I have to adjust these. Might have to put them a little bit closer together. But here it is, brand new little trailer. If you guys are interested in buying a brand new GNU or a motor or parts or trailers, Crystal River Marine, uh, there's a girl up there named Allie and uh, she's the GNU girl and she'll hook you up with uh, whatever you want. So thank you to them. Really easy process for getting the boat trailer. Now I just got to get the uh, boat swapped over on this one. Will and Harry are putting the hurricane deck boat in the river right now. We still need to go to Harbor Freight and get a magnet because last, <laughs> last scallop season we were all sitting over here uh, shucking the scallops and we dropped one of the spoons in there. <laughs> So here's the shed at McCray's. That's the boat ramp right there Katie and I used the other day. There's Crumps, which is popping tonight, or this evening, so we'll probably come back. They got Florida Cracker Kitchen, which is where we ate lunch earlier. And then you have Monkey Island, and we're just gonna go all the way up to the river. We're gonna chill at the springs, and we're gonna come back and find somewhere to eat. It's pretty popular today. So we made it to the springs. There's only a couple boats. When we pass by with the truck, there's about 25 to 30, but just like every other day this winter, it starts off sunny, and the sun goes away. But I'm determined to get in the water. We got the wetsuits, snorkeling gear, and to keep us warm, we got moonshine. So I guess everybody earlier scared away of the manatees. There's nothing by the boat. I'm sure they're probably up here past this little uh, cutoff where we're not allowed to go swimming. But sun's not fully out, but we did get some blue sky. Water still feels really, really good. I almost don't want to get out. So Will got his hands on some Home Assassa homemade moonshine, so. Wait, the last if, one was before me. If you remember last summer, we had some on the Winter Haven Chain of Lakes. That was from Fort Meade, so we're gonna try us some Home Assassa. Is that the same one that put hair on Harry's chest? Yeah. <laughs> it's still there. 
<laughs> Barely. As she takes another swig. Yeah, Fort Myers <laughs> is stronger, but yeah. Fort Myers. ain't nothing sleeping on. Yeah, Fort excuse me. Hey, man. It tastes like... It's, it's pretty smooth. I can't tell. It's like permanent marker. <laughs> <laughs> it's very toxic, yeah. regardless. It tastes like... Oh, rubber cement glue? Rub there you go, rubber cement glue. It tastes how a Sharpie smells. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we're on our way back to the river house. Moonshine's finally kicking in. There is McCray's, the shed. We're passing Crumps again. So we gotta go all the way out the river towards the Gulf, and we're gonna take a left on Mason's Creek. We're gonna ride the creek all the way up to the house. We're gonna put my river hawk on my new trailer. So right now the river hawk's on the old trailer, so we gotta switch the trailers. Then we're gonna find something to eat, and then uh, I don't know, we're gonna get into some trouble somewhere. about wearing hats backwards on a boat. It wasn't me, it was the moonshine. He says it's the moonshine. It's a it's a but he says it's him. Good. stronger than I thought. <laughs> so we made it back to the house. We're gonna put the hurricane back on the trailer. And then my boat is over there with my truck. So we're gonna put my boat on my new trailer. And the party continues. Assassin Moonshine came through. All right. So here's my Riverhawk B60. So this is just proof that you can have fun on the water. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, I paid three thousand dollars for this originally on Facebook Marketplace, and I put a new center console in it with a little cooler. I put this little Amazon Sea Deck down. It cost thirty dollars a roll. It took three rolls. So $90, I got this nice sea decking. Um, I went and bought a, a new motor, which was actually a like floor, like a store model. So it was like, had like one hour on it of use as like the model. And I bought it for $2,200 plus this, put it on the boat, it's run flawless. I really love this Tahatsu 20, 20 horsepower engine, gets 20 miles to the gallon. And uh, this is the old trailer. This was actually a jet ski trailer that was modified. So like it's all cut up. It's really janky. Like it's really loose. 
there's no safety chains the, the the lights don't work there's a lot of stuff wrong with this trailer that i just was i didn't feel safe driving very far with it um it's made it almost two oh, um, about a year it's made it one year since i bought this boat because i've had two b60s I, ha I bought a b60 two years ago sold it and then regretted it as soon as i sold it so i went and bought this b60 from jacksonville and it's actually been really nice so um, I ended up upgrading the trailer and we're about to switch the trailers right now this one's got really nice it's actually got LED lights right here it's got LED lights in the back So long, old trailer. Gotta love the Tahatsu. Starts every time. Even if it sits three or four months. As you can see, Will is backing down my truck. And my trailer has working taillights, which it's never had because I got a brand new trailer. It's pretty exciting. I needed a new trailer since day one, I knew that, but I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And finally, today was the day. So thank you, Crystal River Marine, especially Allie. Even though today was her day off, uh, they called her and harassed her on the phone and uh, she gave them all the information they needed to uh, to sell the trailer to me today so wheel is deep enough so now we're gonna put the boat on the trailer for the very first time i'm hoping these bunks are wide enough apart so we don't have to do any adjusting but it looks like they should be it should be set up for a b it should be set up for a lt25 and my boat is pretty much the same size I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. This is the instructions right here. We gotta cut those off, but this is gonna slide down so that these rubber things are down here touching the boat. And then I'm gonna move this back a few inches so it doesn't swing and uh, dent my uh, jerry cane holder right here. Other than that, the boat is the perfect length. Stops right here at the end of the boat. And I'm gonna put a transom saver to uh, hold my engine up so Whenever I go over potholes or I'm driving down the interstate and this motor is flexing, it's not wearing out the uh, the transom on the boat, making it really weak and eventually just cracking it down the, the back. That happens quite often on these little boats. So it's almost time for karaoke at the old sugar mill. So we got the side by side. Will, Katie and I just went and picked up this trailer. So now we got a trailer to cruise around on because we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have the whole the whole family out here. So uh, oh, we're sitting out here. We're gonna sit on the back. What? No. Sit on the back. So it's Sunday morning now. I got the new boat trailer back in Lakeland. Uh, everybody survived the moonshine. We found out this morning it was 120 proof. Um, everybody woke up. We took the side by side. We went to uh, Florida Cracker Kitchen for breakfast. It was delicious. On the way back, we stopped back at the uh, neighbor's house in Homosassa and we got some more moonshine for uh, the next time uh, we're all up there. So. 
look forward to that thank you everybody for watching this video i mean we really didn't do a whole lot but that's honestly just what we do on our days off we just like to kick back relax have a lot of fun i had to go to home sasa to buy a trailer and uh, we all just ended up going uh, to the river house and just having a good time so uh, thanks again everybody